Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a new series on my channel. This is gonna be the Blind Buy series where I showcase some of my blind buys. I give you my full review. Is it worth it? Is it not? And just what I thought of it initially, what I thought before I got it and then after. So this is a cool series because I do a lot of blind buy surprisingly. I kind of just go based off of reviews and notes and then I make my purchase. Sometimes I am completely amazed, but there are other times, honey, the disappointment is real. As always, thank you so much for joining me on another video, guys. I truly do appreciate you guys sitting down, taking time out of your day to watch my channel. It feels so, so good. And I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying the content. Definitely subscribe if you are new. Join the family, okay? Come on, come on. Press that subscribe button right now. And also give this video a thumbs up as it helps me reach other people and helps this channel grow. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So today's blind buy is from Mancera and this is the second fragrance that I own from this brand. There are quite a few that I have on my list that I really want to get my hands on but Rosie's Vanille is the one that I kind of pinpoint and said all right let me try this one because a lot of people are saying it's one of their favorites from the brand. So I went ahead and got this one here. The presentation is beautiful. I really love the box and the texture that it kind of has. It's very sleek, very elegant, classy. It looks quite expensive to me. It's not overdone, but it's not underwhelming. So I really, really do like the box. And when you open up your fragrance, it will come in this beautiful, Beautiful pouch here all of the fragrance come like this which I love that touch and um, the presentation is just awesome it's definitely like an experience and you go ahead and you take your fragrance out of this little pouch here and you have this stunning bottle that is very very minimalistic but I do really like the approach it just looks very clean and timeless and it looks beautiful on the vanity so these are the Mancera bottles the way they are presented to you which I really like now Mancera is considered a niche house but the price point is not going to break your entire life savings okay you are going to be able to live if you buy a fragrance from this house which i adore sometimes when i look at um, niche houses and i look at these prices that are in the five six seven eight hundred dollar price range i'm a little i'm a little shocked i'm like i'm not gonna lie i'm like whoa I do understand and I do appreciate a ton of niche brands um, and I get the high price point. It comes with the name, it comes with the presentation, it comes with the ingredients and uh, the whole art behind creating a perfume. But I do appreciate when niche houses give us affordability and this one you definitely have a lot more affor affordability when you compare it with other niche fragrance brands. So I'm going on the website called basenotes.net for the fragrance notes. So this fragrance was created in 2011. And let's see, it is a unisex scent. Uh, that's what it's considered. And the top notes are Calabrian Lemon. Heart notes is Turkish Delight and Rose. Base notes, we have Cedarwood, Vanilla, and White Musk. Now, when I initially uh, decided to get this fragrance, I just expected a really nice, sweet scent. I didn't know what to think of it because my last Mancera purchase was Pearl, and it definitely has this very, like, distinct scent to it almost uh, like a synthetic vibe and from the reviews that I've seen a lot of people do get that um, synthetic kind of note from these fragrances that come from this brand and I definitely got it within that uh, fragrance pearl and I was really worried that Rose's Vanille was going to be something like that where I found it a little too synthetic and I couldn't vibe with it so when I first opened this up, and I love that it is a twist cap, it's kind of different. You don't get a lot of fragrances with a twist cap. Um, 
I sprayed it initially and I definitely got taken back. I was like, oh, there it is again. That very distinct synthetic note. I can smell it. I don't know if I'm going to love this. In the opening, you will get it. It's a thing with Mancera and Montal. I think both, I, I'm pretty sure both brands are completely different. But when you spray their fragrances, you get this very distinct smell. And it smells synthetic. I'm going to be honest. It smells like something synthetic, almost like medicinal. And um, it's in the opening of their fragrances. Very, very distinct. You can definitely tell that it's this brand or Montal. And this one definitely goes away after the dry down. Thank the load. So when I initially spray this fragrance on my skin, I get that synthetic kind of medicinal type of note, but I let this dry down and I am completely obsessed. I love the way that this sits on my skin. After that synthetic kind of vibe dries away, all you get is the beautiful, beautiful rose and vanilla vibe. Like it just smells very intoxicating, very addictive, has this stunning, alluring quality to it that seduces you and you just want to wear it every day. It smells gorgeous, guys. It is gorgeous. It's definitely on the niche type of scent. Um, where, how do I explain this? It's not going to be a generic vanilla. It's not, not generic. That's a bad word. It's not going to remind you of a designer fragrance. It definitely has its niche quality to it, which I love. It, it stands out from the crowd for sure. And you could definitely tell that it has a higher quality to it. Oh, it's it's very silky and smooth and like sweet, but it's not coiling sweet in my opinion. It smells a little like there's coffee in here. Very, very faint coffee note, even though when we read out the notes, there was no mention of coffee. But to me, I get this very slight vibe of coffee. It's warm. It's very warm and inviting. And even though we are not in the colder months, I've had this for about a week now and I cannot stop wearing it. Especially when I go to bed for some reason, the warmth of it, it just like, it, it comforts me in a way. But then it's like this very seducing um, vibe to the scent also. It really does smell incredible, honestly. It smells like a really beautiful vanilla, deep vanilla scent with roses, a fresh rose note in there, like a very fresh wet rose, and then this deep brown vanilla note in there. Hints of coffee in the background. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. I know it says it is a unisex scent. You have to be a very confident man to pull this off because I feel like it leans more towards the feminine side, uh, in my opinion. But then again, fragrances do change on every skin. Mm, it just has this very addictive nature to it. It really, really does. If you can get past that synthetic, slightly medicinal note that is in here, I, I don't know what it is that they put in here to make that distinct scent in all of their fragrances, you will enjoy this one. Give it some time. It And I find with a lot of the niche fragrances, you really just kind of have to give it some time, try and vibe with it, and you start to really fall in love with it. I am in love, love with this fragrance. It is my scent of the day. Oh, and you really don't need that many sprays. It's quite potent. Um, I think three to four sprays at max is enough and you are good to go. This is a gorgeous scent for the cool months. Winter time, it's very warming and comforting but still alluring. It would be perfect. But even on summer nights when it kind of cools down, this would be a beautiful date night scent, an evening scent. It's quite potent and um, it definitely catches people's attention because it has this very distinct um, scent to it. But you definitely will get this like 
gorgeous vanilla note in there and it just it's beautiful guys if you haven't tried it definitely get you like a decant of it beforehand surprisingly in love with it i've been wearing it a ton a little goes a long way as you guys can see I barely put a dent in it, but I've been wearing it for the past like three, four days, especially when I go to bed. It smells so good. Like it kind of puts you in the mood, if I can say that. It's I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this new series. I will have more of these because I do have quite a few collections of blind buys based off of reviews and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. If you have tried any of the Monsera fragrances, and I really hope I'm saying that right. I probably am not. Don't don't shoot me in the comment section. But um, let me know which other ones I should get my hands on. I do really want to get Velvet Vanille, I think it's called. Um, right now, that's, that's like the next one that I want. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Ciao!